Hi everybody, it's Linnea. Today I have the pleasure of playing with the Some More Fun Ghost Pack. Now, this is just a little bit of what's going to come in the Ghost Pack, but I'll walk you through everything that you're gonna get. So you're gonna get two stamp sets, the first of which is this one. This is the Sheet Happens stamp set, so funny. Both of these stamp sets are super cute and super punny. This one is the Boo Hoo stamp set. You're also going to get, which are not pictured, three orange card bases, three white card bases, and six orange A2 sized envelopes. Also in the pack are these six, six by 10 designer card stocks. These are 100 pound card stocks, and these are super heavy, super pretty. And you know what's really fun is these two at the end that are black and white are actually laser printed so they can be foiled. And I'll be showing you how to do that. You're also going to get six sheets of slimline pattern paper here. They measure three and a half by eight and a half inches. I just have two to show you, but you will get six in your pack. Now the pack price has a special discounted price of $27.99. And the last time there was a pack, they sold out in the first weekend. There are only going to be 30 of these packs and you can purchase the stamp sets individually, but if you want all these pattern papers, and trust me, you do, you're gonna wanna head over to the website and pick up your pack. And I will leave that linked in the video description below. Okay, so let's start stamping because I have, I made two completed cards in this video, but I have a couple tips and tricks and different things you can do with this ghost pack. So to start off with here, I'm using one of the stamp sets and I wanted to make it so that little ghost is holding on to the little pumpkin bucket. So to start off with, I stamped the bucket because that's going to be in the foreground. I want that to be in front of the ghost. And then I used a post-it note and stamped my little bucket on that again, trimmed it out and placed that over top of the stamped image. Now I can grab that little ghost with the witch's hat and broom. It kind of looks like the hand is meant to hold this little bucket. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make this just look like it's one stamp. I'm going to ink that up and stamp that in place, remove the mask and look at that. You're, there's a little bit of overlap where the bucket kind of comes in front of the ghost and the handle is perfectly positioned in his little hand. Now I did leave my stamps in the door of my Misty and I'll show you why later. I like to just stamp once and then color. So even if I get uneven inking or maybe if I want my black a little bit darker, this way I'm certain that my ink is not going to smudge or run. I left a little bit of my coloring in here and I do want to mention also that I have my laminator off to the left of my desk heating up while I'm doing my coloring. I find that that is a great time saver because I like to let my laminator heat up for about 15 minutes after the ready light turns on. So it takes about 10 minutes for my ready light to turn on and I let it sit and heat up about 15 minutes past that. So I have a small workspace and it's sitting off to my left. So that's why you see my little bucket of Copet markers up in the top there. After I had colored all of my little ghost images, I'm gonna pop that back into my Misty right where I had it positioned the first time, ink up these stamps again, and you're gonna see how crisp and black and outlined these stamps become just by stamping after your coloring is done. I also stamped and colored a couple more images from both of the stamp sets. And now I'm gonna show you how you can foil these patterned cardstock pieces. Remember you can foil any of the pieces that are white background with the black laser printing. So I used foils from Decofoil and from Brutus Monroe. That's what I have in my stash. Doesn't matter which kind of foil you use as long as it is a heat activated foil. I laid the foil pretty side up on top of my patterned cardstock and ran that through my laminator and look at that pretty orange foiling stripes. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the little eyes and I used green for that. I had two colors of green, a light and a dark. I went with the light and I think in the end I wish I had gone for the dark, but that's okay, it worked out perfectly anyway. So once these backgrounds are foiled, you can leave them with the white background but I thought it would be fun to show you how you can step this up with a bit of ink blending. And I'm going to just blend my ink right over the foiling. You can even use alcohol markers and it actually does not matter if you do your ink blending or coloring before or after you foil. 
it won't affect the toner if you do it before, and it really doesn't affect the foils if you do it after. So you can see here, I'm just blending right over top of that foiling, and then I just take a cloth and quickly wipe off any excess that may be sitting on top. But the color and the quality of the foils didn't change at all. Okay, so now I hope you've seen a couple tips, tip, oh my goodness, tips and tricks, things that you can do with the products that are included in the ghost pack. And I'm gonna make a couple of cards here. So I took my two favorite images from the Sheet Happens stamp set, and I am going to use one of the striped pattern papers. Both of my cards are fairly simple, but I think they're super cute. The images and the sentiments and the papers really do all the work for you, so you don't need to do really elaborate techniques. I've just added a couple of those little ghost images to my card front, and I have a sentiment as well that I'm going to have peeking out behind the washing machine and going on top of the sheet that's hang drying. I trimmed down this panel to be four by five and a quarter inches, and I'm going to add that to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch orange card base just for a little pop of color. And that's it. It's super cute. I wanted to use one of the backgrounds that I foiled, and I thought this little purple background with the eyeballs would be super cute. I did also, after I was done ink blending, I went in with just a yellow Copic marker and added some color to the eyeballs. So I, you can even Copic color. I wanted to show you how you can color and ink right over these foils and it totally doesn't matter. I heat embossed a couple of sentiments. For this card, I actually ended up using one sentiment from each of the stamp sets and combining them. I heat embossed them down in the bottom left-hand corner of my card, and then I have a leftover strip of pattern paper that I'm going to add to the right side of my card, and then I have foam tape behind that little ghost image, and that's the one that I masked off in the beginning. I just love how perfectly positioned that little treat bucket is. So I'll add him to the bottom right-hand corner with some foam tape, and that's it. These two cards were really simple to make, but I think they really pack a punch with these cute images and punny sentiments. Remember that I will link the ghost pack from Some More Fun down in the video description below. There are only going to be 30 of the ghost packs available, and once they're sold out, there will not be any more made. And even though you can purchase the stamp sets individually, it's a great deal to order the pack all together. So I'll leave that linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found some inspiration, and I will catch you guys next time. I hope if you like what you saw today that you'll subscribe and here's a couple more videos that I thought you might be interested in.